Hi everyone, my name is Phil, and today I'll be demonstrating to you my electrical engineering thesis entitled Hardware and Software for an Educational Game Show. The purpose of this game show is to expand the active learning found in N1300, one of the first year engineering courses at UQ, into the lecture environment by providing an entertaining element that provokes student content review and reflection. To achieve this, I built an embedded system from the ground up that incorporates different electronics that you'll be exposed to throughout your electrical engineering studies. Let's first take a look at the top level flowchart for how the educational game show has been implemented. As you can see, there are several hardware and software elements interacting together to construct a full embedded system. Beginning with the players, you can see that they each interact with a buzzer device. We'll take a closer look at these later on. Each buzzer device is battery powered and communicates wirelessly with a server device. This server device then connects to a desktop software application through a USB connection. The desktop software controls some of the game logic in the background and provides functionality for setting up the game show. The desktop software also has a user-facing graphical interface that displays the questions, responses, different multimedia elements, and so on. Let's take a closer look now at the buzzer device. You can see all the electronics have been soldered to a printed circuit board. On the top left, you see the push button used to buzz in an answer, with the PSO buzzer for sound next to it, and an LED that you can see lit up underneath. The chip you see in the center of the board is the microcontroller, used for controlling the radio, which you see on the bottom right hand side of the board. Taking up most of the center left of the board is a regulator circuit, composed of surface mount capacitors, an inductor, and a diode. This is used to keep the voltage from the battery steady and ensure smooth operation. The PCB is contained within a 3D printed case, specifically designed for this project, with a clear acrylic lid laser cut to match and close in the top. The server device you see here is relatively simple. A matching radio module to connect with the buzzer devices, and a USB to UART module, which links from the radio through a microcontroller into the desktop software. All the firmware code for both the buzzer and server device was written in the C language. Let's now jump into the desktop software. The first screen here is for setup, allowing the lecturer to connect the server device and select questions for this particular game session. All the images and music used in the game are open source, and you also see some YouTube content embedded using JavaScript and HTML into what is otherwise an software written entirely in C Sharp. So you see here our main game screen with background music and a few famous and not so famous faces. We'll click on the first game tile to launch the first question. So we now have a few seconds to identify the answer to the question, and once that countdown is up, we have to answer really quickly. So I'll buzz in with the yellow buzzer. Now let's say we think that the answer is 20 milliamps. In this case, oh no, we got it wrong. Let's go with the green buzzer instead and see if we can get it right this time. So the correct answer in this case is 120 milliamps. So we we'll buzz that in. And now the green player will get his opportunity to pick a prize for winning that round. And obviously, we'll probably go for a chocolate bar over the six random resistors in this case. Confirm our price selection, and we're back to the main game screen. With the green player now having one on the scoreboard. So that's my thesis in three minutes. Thank you for watching.